objective accomplished. The electromagnetic pulse from the nuclear explosions has downed communications with the scout team. We have lost all contact with them. Their last transmission indicated that they were heading back to base. Incoming intelligence report. Commander, we are under attack by Nexus cyborgs and tanks. Please help us. Cannot hold out much longer. Repeat, please help. We cannot hold out much longer. Commander, take your forces north to Gamma Base and help defend it. Mission timer activated. Power transfer. Structure under attack. I tell you what to do with your starting units, but you don't have any. There are four trucks sitting by the factories that I made during Gamma 2. If you didn't make them yourself, you can go ahead now, it doesn't take long. Send them north, one to deal with repairing the northern valley wall, and the other three spread around the north edge of your base along the mountain edges. I will be building exactly four combat units this stage, two TKs and two assault guns. They will be the entirety of our land forces for the next couple stages, which isn't really that big Production an issue, completed. given that that's about all that fits through the valley north of our base anyway. We have artillery everywhere that will prove important, but this stage we'll see the debut of our Arnold VTOLs to combat operations. First though, we need to get rid of a lot of anti-air missiles, so send the UAVs up past the northeast mountain. Remember, you can't give them move orders to a spot you haven't seen yet, but you can give them move orders to the top of the cliff, and from there, they will see what we need them to. You may wish to save before they get there, though. Enemy base detected. Unit under attack. Production completed. Unit under attack. That went pretty well. Note that there is a cutscene in this map, and once it triggers, stuff starts going sideways. It gets triggered by several possibilities, one of which is if you spot certain units, and some of those units tend to patrol close to the area we just shelled. If you got unlucky in your timing and this attack triggered the cutscene, then reload your save, wait 30 seconds, and try again. We can place a couple sensors a bit farther north in our little mountain cavities here, so set those up before we launch the second phase of our airstrike. Under attack. Construction. Unit under attack. Production completed. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Group zero, reporting. I'm going to slide both the remaining UAVs and the heavy bombers to the left edge of the map. Construction completed. Send the UAVs first to start a barrage. Enemy base detected. Unit under attack. Which results in the near destruction of this Nexus base, as well as triggering a massive artillery exchange with the enemy rockets at the northeast of the map. With the SAM pits here down, send in the bombers to do some damage. Our target is going to be to hit the defensive structures at the north end. Construction completed. Under attack. Commencing attack. Unit under attack. You can see the path the bombers are taking to get back to their pads. If we hadn't smashed the SAM sites just above the northeast portion of our base first, we'd be getting blasted right now. 
The AA missiles the cyborgs are firing don't hold a candle to a dedicated SAM shot. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. I'm going to set up some long-range artillery up here to try and take down the Nexus rockets, but given that theirs are tougher, it's going to take a bit. I could have taken down my CB towers while I set them up to prevent them from scatter firing, but it was a minor difference with money not being an issue. Construction completed. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. There we go, enemy artillery down. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Production completed. Production completed. Production completed. Production completed. Production completed. Group zero, reporting. Production completed. Artifact detected. Group zero, reporting. On our way. Unit under attack. Commencing attack run on our way. Unit under attack. Commencing attack run. See that damage? That was a single SAM missile, and Nexus's current SAM pits are dual launchers. Even something with as heavy a body as the Onel design should not be putting itself in range of enemy SAM defenses if it can help it. A single missile pit can be survived easily, but rarely will you be in a position where you get fired at by a single dual launcher. Unit under attack.
Incoming transmission. And here's the cutscene. Ah, Commander. So good of you to join us here at Nexus Base. It was very useful having Gamma Deep set up here in the mountains. Their absorption was such a pleasure. Thank you for all those useful technologies you've recovered. You and not those fools in the new paradigm and the collective. I'm now activating all your synaptic links so that your forces can meld with Nexus. Your forces are now mine. Welcome to Nexus. <laughs> Mission timer activated. So much for the rescue party. I wonder if the distress signal from Gamma Eric was real or not. We get 90 minutes to deal with the fact that we now have to kill three bases, but two are almost done anyway. That said, with the cutscene activated, Nexus will now start getting transports of reinforcements, and the factories at the northwest, which were dormant to this point, will turn on and pump out continual units, hover mediums that will come after us when they reach four, and cyborg packs that will make their attacks when they reach six. The narrow valley and heavy artillery we've prepared should be enough to hold them, but it will be nigh impossible to counter push while this is happening. Group Zero, reporting. And here is another reason we don't want our heavy bombers going in unescorted. Nexus's SAM sites, for now at least, are dual launchers. This Princess Leia wannabe right here is a quad launcher. Depending on our VTOL's training level and some luck, it's entirely possible a single volley from one of these can take an Onald down by itself. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Group Zero, reporting. I'm going to drop the bottom left Nexus base first, because it has no anti-aircraft defense left in it, and the Nexus transport reinforcements just fell. The CB tower visible at its north edge isn't strictly necessary, but it may as well come down too. Construction completed. Commencing attack Enemy transport detected. Incoming enemy transport. Construction completed. Structure completed. 
unit under attack. Group zero, reporting. As much as I'd love to use right now to push north, group what with a large reporting. enemy group just being downed, I need to shut the LZ down first. Otherwise, whatever I send north would end up getting sandwiched. Group zero, reporting. Zero, reporting. On our way. Unit under attack. Commencing attack. Enemy bed eradicated. Group zero, reporting. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Zero, reporting. Unit under attack. Time to make a move. I'll have my four brand new tanks push forward through the... Uh... Come on, guys. Okay, maybe I'll wait till next chance. Alright, now I will push my four brand new tanks through the valley. They are unexperienced. While the cyborg attack is down, they would probably have trouble with a tank pack, so I'm going to have the bombers cover them from the air. Wait, 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 wait. 
Are those heavy cannons on medium bodies? I think I know why Gamma Eric lost to Nexus. Group Zero, reporting. Group Zero, reporting. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Commencing attack. And the second part of this plan is to have the three fast bobs move through the valley while this is happening and hold themselves up in this spot. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. Artifact recovered. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Construction completed. With this patch of land secure, I can now use the hills to set up a barricade keeping Nexus inside X Gamma's base area.
structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Construction completed. under attack. Major research completed. Construction completed. The only actual Nexus structures left this stage are two SAMs in the top right corner. By putting a sensor here, I can show them without risking my planes. Construction completed. Construction completed. Enemy base detected. Units under attack. So, X Gamma Base. They have a couple buildings we haven't seen before. A blue tipped triangle that I'll mention during the stage's wrap up, and a squiggly needle turret? I don't give the real names of weapons before we get them ourselves, but we never get this one, so... This tower is the Nexus Link Turret. Everything in this game actually has two hit point meters. One for if you're getting shot at, and in... We'll say electronic one that this turret attacks. If it manages to get the electronic HP meter to zero, it takes the unit over. Electronic HP meters recharge over time, and these things don't exactly deplete it quickly, but it's still a weapon you want to avoid if you can. It's also short range and fires at land targets only, so our setup of artillery and aircraft are perfect for this. Production completed. Production completed. Production completed. Production completed. Production completed. Production completed. Once this island is cleared of Nexus, it's a good place to set up. Not because it can't be reached, Nexus does have hovers after all, but because it has a somewhat narrow entrance to it if coming from the base proper. Someone trying to go around south of the hill will get seen by what I set up on the mountain south, and its position is just close enough to the base to spot and hit its eastern side, while being far enough away from them to not get hit in return. Uh, I still should probably have waited until right after I defeated an enemy wave, though. Structure under attack. Structure under attack.
construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Construction completed. Structure under attack. Unit under attack. Construction completed. Major research completed. Major research completed. Major research completed. Major research completed. Construction completed. The sensor in this position is close enough to direct artillery fire against most of the base's eastern half. Just need to have another unit provide initial spotting. Oh, drones! Unit under attack. Construction completed. Pretty good volley. I was hoping this one AA pit would also go down, as I don't want to send my Arnolds in while there are still four AA pits. Production completed. Production completed. Production completed. Group zero, reporting. Production completed. I'll get the bombers in position just south in the X Nexus space anyway, and slip a truck up north to get another spotter up. Construction completed. Artifact detected. Detected. 
Structure under attack. Well, they're gonna get the sensor, but the job is done. That other AA pit has fallen. I also got their power plant, not that that stops them from building stuff endlessly. Time to bring the UAVs up. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. A couple times so far, I've sent in unmanned UAVs on wild weasel missions. Yes, that is the term the USA used for this exact mission type, in front of my bombers to eat the enemy SAM shots. But it's probably been hard to see since I have to keep moving the screen around to keep an eye on everything. So let me demonstrate this same concept against whirlwind and cyclone pits. It's not as good as against SAMs, but the concept still works. Group Zero, reporting? On our way. On our way. Construction completed. Unit under attack. Unit under attack. On our way. Commencing attack. Commencing attack. Unit under attack. Commencing attack. Unit under attack. Group zero. Reporting. Several of my planes ended up in red health from this. That's why I wanted that fourth AA pit down first. But basically, this whole maneuver is just push and retreat tactics, only from the air. And with some suicide miniplanes. The only anti-air they have left is an assault gun tower and whatever cyborgs they make. The Nexus SAM tanks were a landing force exclusive. And that just leaves X Gamma with a couple factories, a few defenses, and... Pepper Pot pits? Really? Gamma Eric was using medium bodies and pepper pots. Beta Man Cam was trying to fight collective heavies with flamers, and David of Alpha panicked instead of realizing he could make a truck to clear the highway. Does the player character have to do everything in video games? I heard that. Even though the base is in ruins, it still has an infinite cash supply to build units with. Thankfully, it's not smart enough to wait for a critical mass of attack units, instead continuing to send out parties of only four hover tanks or five cyborgs. I could just let the bombers take the factories out effectively unopposed, but I need to get a few levels on those four new tanks I built for next stage. So I'll set up a wall here, which I will back up with those four tanks, and proceed to farm the enemy's attack groups for an hour. I'm sure Alfred007 would approve. I will use the bombers to start dismantling the other parts of the base though. That said, while my trucks had a couple close calls, nothing else of real interest happens for the next hour, so I'll save you the pain of watching this. You know, most games make your money a strategic consideration by giving you limited funds and you having to choose what to build. This game makes it so that you have ludicrous funds and can build huge amounts of things everywhere, and then have several stages where you end up thinking you wish you had built more anyway. So I built more. Anyway. What's on the map? Next stage's team of two assault guns, two TKs, four heavy bobs, and two fast bobs are at the LZ. The entire right half of this map looks about the same as it did last stage, except the few structures I made as I was moving up. Two minutes remaining. I have a large wall here an artillery field in this area, with a couple bunkers in front and behind it. A semicircle of defenses covering this part of the map, and the rest is the same as the end of Gamma 1. Structure under attack. Structure under attack. 
Construction completed. Enemy base eradicated. Unit under attack. One minute. Objective accomplished. Nope. Forgot again. Come on, self. Mission timer activated. Computer research completed. Neural synapse research brain. Speeds up research, although given how long it takes to research some of the stuff about to drop into our laps, I wonder if it's actually working properly. Weapon research completed. Target acquisition mortar shells. Not that we use mortars right now. Weapon research completed. Target acquisition bomb site. We definitely use bombs right now. Vehicle research completed. Nexus light body retaliation. A great light body, but since the only light body unit I use right now was custom built for cheapness, this won't see much play. But it did open up. Vehicle research completed. Gas turbine engine. Vehicle research completed. Super dense composite alloys. Vehicle research completed. High intensity thermal armor. Vehicle research completed. Vehicle research completed. And the two cyborg equivalents. I'd say that these upgrades are very welcome, but Nexus gets a big upgrade to its own damage next stage, so it's kind of a wash. At least our Tigers are a bit faster now. Weapon research completed. The flashlight laser. Structure research completed. Along with its emplacement. Weapon research completed. An accuracy upgrade. Weapon research completed. A rate of fire boost that I don't know the right pronunciation for. Thermopoli? Thermopoli? Thermopole? I think I'll go with a Spanish bent. The Thermopole Energizer. Weapon research completed. A damage upgrade. Vehicle research completed. A cyborg variant. Structure research completed. And a hard point. The laser is the game's next level of anti-personnel weapon, so let's compare it against our current version, the assault gun. As of right now, the laser isn't winning the competition. While it does outrange the assault gun quite handily, its damage per shot is a big step up, and we don't really care about the cost, it loses a ton of hit points, and its actual damage output is a major step down. This isn't just a small downgrade in damage that a higher damage per shot can overcome thanks to armor mechanics. The damage per minute of the flashlight laser is less than one-sixth that of the assault gun, 4,000 for the laser, 26,625 for the assault. Much like the howitzer to bombard comparison, this has a lot to do with us having researched about the whole machine gun tree, and this being our first foray into energy weapons. And in the future, lasers will become far more potent. But at the moment, it's just not worth it to change over. Not that we could, most of our force is still stranded in the Rockies somewhere. Also, now it's not just the Hurricane Pit and MG Bunkers, it seems all the old weapons are showing back up in the list. Stupid Nexus interference. Enemy base eradicated. Objective accomplished.